Hello everybody. Happy Wednesday. And I don't know why I'm getting some feedback on something here. Let me see what's going on. Uh, I go to this one. Um, hmm. I don't know. Can you guys hear an echo? Let me know if you hear an echo. I don't know what, everything's muted as far as I know. Hello, hello. Are you guys even seeing me here? No. Okay. Nobody's seeing me? Hmm. You're not seeing this? Huh. I don't know what's going on. It sounds good. No echo on your end. Okay. But you can see my you can see my hands and you can see me. It's so strange. I don't know why there's an echo. The the, the iPad thing is muted. Uh, frustrating cuz it it definitely gives me the feedback. Um, now I can't find my main screen again. Bear with me, guys. Eventually, this is going to get to be easier, right? Let's see. No echo, huh? Okay. I, I, I don't know what it is. Hi! Happy Wednesday. Happy a couple days before Christmas. Uh, you can see I did not finish this, did I? I did not do any work on it at all. And I didn't do any work on it at all because I was busy doing digi kits and I reached a milestone that I wanted to reach this year, which was um, 100 kits in my shop at, by the end of the year. And I hit that today and I will give you guys a special code that I gave when I did a um, copyright chat with Patty Lang. Um, so 20% off in the shop through the 27th if you use the coupon Patty Saves, P A T T Y S A V E S. And I'm sending great big hugs to Brenda. Big old group hugs and yes, healing light to Brenda, who's having a hard time. Let's see, I wonder. Okay, I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'll do it in a test thing. So let me know what you guys are working on. Thank you, Victoria. Yeah, there's, um, this is very strange. Nothing is working. Nothing's working like it did the last couple weeks. Let's see if we can. Huh. Please give a quick review of how I constructed the base for this project. Sure. Um, this is just an old pillowcase and I was cutting them like five by seven size because I was picturing um, matting it later. And then what I did, I had a whole bunch and I still have gazillions um, upholstery samples and I was trying to figure out a way to use some of them up. And so I found this video and I'll have to find her name. It's got lizard in her website name. Um, and basically I just, I cut a bunch of pieces of material that were the width that I wanted to do. So I ended up with a stack of material. Jude, can you type in the coupon code Patty Saves for them please? so that anybody that wants a discount can get it. Okay, so I had a stack of fabric and they might be different um, heights. They didn't all have to be the same height. I should do a tutorial on this, I know. Okay, so I had a stack of fabric and they were as wide as I wanted my image to be. And then what I did, and this is easier with paper, but I just did it with scissors, I just, cut them into swirls. Oh, I love that. Janet says she's cutting tags from the mermaid kit and the blue glass kit and making 
placards for the front of your totes for your new shelving in your happy room. Yay! I love that. Hey, Midge. And so when I had a bunch of things, you know, cut, and you could do this with paper too, and you, you don't have to be precise. Okay. So maybe this one will be just one big hill. All right. And then let's do another one. Let's do one with a couple of. Okay, so you have all these different size, you know, picture all these are different color fabric. And then you just start layering them. That's probably harder to see with that on the back. So can you see how I've got different hills coming up? And if you've got the different types of material, hey Mona, it's Patty Saves, P-A-T-T-Y-S-A-V-E-S, -E no apostrophe, no spaces. You know, and you just keep playing around with that until you get the best. So can you see, you know, maybe it's hard to see because this is all one color. But you've got, let's see here if I can kind of give you the edges. And you could do this with paper and make a journal cover that way. Oh yeah, I sell like a drunken sailor too, and I've just decided that's that's my style. It's we can call it the drunken sailor style. All right, so this is all it is: is it's just rearranging these until you get them the different things that you the different ones you like. Let's see if I can get this back over here. Okay, that's the coupon code. Does that make sense, Shelby? And I'll, I'll have to do a short tutorial on that, and then I can link to the gal that um, showed me how to do it first. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate you guys being here today. Let me know who's ready for Christmas, huh? I'm, I'm being ready by just taking care of myself I let myself a couple times last night. I started to freak out and say, oh, my gosh, I'm, you know, I'm not done with this project that I said I was going to be done with. And uh, then I said, you know what? It's okay. Hey, Nettie. You're welcome, Shelby. Um, I decided it's okay. And I've had a sinus headache since about 5 o'clock this morning. So I'm just going to do something nice and simple. Oh, Brenda, that's great. A foster girl that loves to journal. Hey, Emily, you must be on school break and you're able to join us today. Happy to see you here. Some of you may have seen on Facebook my, um, my happy a few days ago was there was a, a guy that contacted me about um, looking for a copy of my book, Hugging the Rock, so that he could gift it to a gal in a... Um, shelter for abused women and children and that was the only thing she had on our Christmas list and that just sort of made my day made my week made my year because the book came out in 2006 so the idea that somebody still wanted it is just really something oh Victoria I didn't say hello to you hello and thank you for the lovely Christmas card it came yesterday I, I love it thank you so much She's a bit of a snob, eh, hey, Brenda? <laughs> That's too funny. So, yeah, I decided French knots were an easy thing to do. I didn't have to think much about them. I can make them sloppy, and they just add to the wooliness of the hills. Yeah, so what um, – Tracy Fox has an unfinished project challenge going on right now, and that's awesome because it'll motivate a lot of us to finish projects. Maybe I should put this one in there, huh? I'm excited because it looks like all of my packages that I had ordered are starting to come in. 
our regular mail guy is back from vacation. I have a few things to mail. Um, Emily, I have a really funny, sad story about Susan doing shipping. Um, actually, the second time, your, your journal came back a second time, and it was because this time the, um, oh, hi, Becky. I don't think I said hello to you because the postal annex used the old address be when I had sent it before, so they just sent it right back to the same wrong address. I do have your correct address, and I just figured I will wait until Saturday so it goes out after the holidays because shipping is just crazy right now. Our poor mail guy was still delivering mail at 10 p.m. last night. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Jude. Yeah, so Jude put up the, the link and the code, and it's 20% off through the 27th, and I have added fussy cut, a couple of fussy cut things and some wanted posters like you would see in the Old West. Um, if there was somebody wanted for a crime, I found some wanted posters. And there are a couple sets of old broadside advertisements that are just really, really interesting reading. So I don't know, and, and more leaves and, you know, like I said, lots of stuff. So you might want to go check it out or keep it in mind if I decided to let it run after Christmas in case some people had some Etsy gift cards for Christmas. So, okay, so Brenda's working on a journal. Janet, in between her actual day job, is cutting, fussy cutting some stuff out. Who else is working on what? Victoria, what are you working on? Are you just kind of recovering? You doing your unfinished project? Jude, are you making hearts? Who is live in 25 minutes? Hopefully this thing is, uh, I, I'm, I'm just not even going to play the technology game today. I'm so happy with meeting my goal, and then I'm going to, after this today, I'm going to go do a couple things in the garden because we supposedly have rain coming. Emily, if you didn't already order it, you can um, order one from me, and I can put it in the package that's going out with your journal. Oh, so you're, you're all done and you're prepping for Christmas. Awesome. Hey, JJ with joy. Junk journal with joy. Yes. So is your name joy? Or are you junk journaling with happiness? Or both. Hopefully both. Hopefully we're all journaling with happiness. Uh, let's see, maybe it is, oh, I know, maybe it is this other, hmm, it's another window that I need to make quiet, and I'm not sure quite how to do it. Wait a minute here. I think I figured out where my echo is coming from. If I can control my cursor. So is everybody doing any um, baking? For Christmas, let's see. In Chrome, how do I make something quiet? Oh, that one says it's quiet. Okay, I don't know what my answer is. <laughs> I give up. You're doing a lot of bulk filming. Yeah, I'm starting to do that. I've got a couple of shorts up and I'm trying to get going on doing more shorts. Pancakes. Mmm. My husband just got back from a last run to the store. He was able to score some French bread, which we needed because he's going to make his beef with tarragon. He's going to make it for Christmas Eve dinner, and then we'll eat it for Christmas as well. Thanks, Janet. I'm, I'm hoping I can have a whole set of motivational moments going, but I think what I need to do is bulk film them and then dole them out. It's really funny, that video on the uh, pilated, pilated, however you say that, woodpecker art about the tree that's got all the holes in it, got picked up on the shorts shelf and got like 3,000 views. And I never have anything, you know, anymore that has 3,000 views. Shorts in winter. Yeah, Nettie, don't drop your shorts, right? Don't drop your shorts.
Victoria, don't worry about the stats. The stats is a vanity metric, you know, and this is something in the workshop that I, I just finished with Lennon uh, that he really stressed and that I'm going to be working on myself in 2021. Think about your audience. As long as you are providing a good viewer experience, then it would, um, you know, it will, the stuff will grow. Sorry, I was reading chat at the same time. Oh, you had to refresh. It said live in 25 minutes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've done that myself, Brenda, where I'm like, wait a minute. I thought I had already done that and I had to hit refresh. Oh, thank you, Emily. That's very sweet. Yeah, it's interesting. Gail um, posted a video showing the books that I had sent her and had no interest in anybody purchasing any books. So which is fine. I mean, that part of my life is is done. I have some copies of books left, but um, I'm moving on into other areas. But it's just interesting. The audience is, is different. So, Victoria, my stats this year have taken a huge nosedive, but I'm a lot less stressed about filming now. Uh, we do have a possible solution for the noise. Okay, Emily, um, We'll, we'll chat afterwards. Hey, Adele. Hi. I was going to pull up your journal to work on today, but that literally was way too much effort. Three videos a week all through. Oh, my goodness. That's too much. Yeah. That's, that's insane because when you're doing something like that, then you don't have any time to create. And so I think we figured out um, if we do – weather stripping on the inside of my husband's office door, it should definitely cut down on the noise level. And I should be able to record whenever I want to with the door shut. But, you know, I have to wait until it's safe for the uh, contractor to come out because we're all in lockdown here again. Yeah, I'm telling myself doing my lives once a week is the one thing I will commit to. And anything else is gravy. Although I do want to get the shorts going so that I can just do kind of motivational moments once a week or once a day, uh, every day. But you, you know, you can't maintain the, I mean, some people can, I'm sorry, the 20, 30 somethings, maybe you guys can maintain a schedule like that, but I don't have that kind of energy and I want to spend time experimenting with, you know, a lot of new styles of art. And I can't always do that on camera. That doesn't work for me. Oops, I made a big old weird knot there. That did not, that, I have to fix this one. That's interesting here. Jude, not sure if you're reading chat, but Becky says to check your PM because she sent you a note and she would like you to check it when you have a chance. I always forget how long when you decide to fill an area with French knots, how long it takes. I mean, and wouldn't you know, I picked like the second largest area to fill, but it's okay. Emily's working on a junk journal. Well, I'm going to try and after I do a little bit of things in the yard, I'm going to try and finish cleaning up because I really like to, you're welcome, Becky. I really like to, start the new year with everything nice and tidy. Even if I mess it up on New Year's Day, I, I want to do a, you know, New Year studio tour and then I can make a big mess. Hey, Penny, good morning to you. Let's see if we can get that one tied down just a little bit more. It's going to be ornery, isn't it? Oh, well, just going to look like odd little plants on the hill. So I don't know if any of you caught the um, chat I did with Patty about copyright, but it is over on Sacred Memento's channel. We chatted for an hour and a half about copyrights. So if you have copyright questions, it's a good one to go over and watch. Yeah, Victoria, you just can't keep up that kind of mojo. It's hard. And then, you know, I like having a few things ahead of time. Um, in case you get sick, or in my case, you know, I get headaches all the time, especially this time of year. Um, we've got the rain coming, and I can tell the sinus pressure. 
So I expect um, to be waylaid in the next day or so with a bad headache. Today's kind of there, but I expect it's going to be more. you you got to guard your time, you know? Um, I cut stuff, didn't I? I cut stuff in different colors. Let's do a different color here. Oh, good, Becky. I'm glad to hear that, that you enjoyed the chat and it cleared some stuff up for you. And I don't mind saying I was um, I was nervous going over to talk because I'm not a lawyer and I'm not an expert, but I am passionate about the topic and about keeping us safe when we're using our different images. And I have been an image gathering fool lately. I think I'm going to change my method of organization. I've been using Lightroom for years to organize my images, but I don't think it's working for me anymore. So I think I'm going to change. That's right, Nettie. People understand life has to happen. And it's not a race. You know, if you're not doing this because you're having a good time doing it, um, that's no good. You know, and I know we're trying to build businesses but we have to do more than just YouTube. Although I appreciate every one of you that subscribes and comments and shares. Um, did you know that's something easy you can do when you can share a video that really spoke to you or a channel that you really like? That's an easy thing you can do to support somebody that, that you want to support without spending any money. Uh, yes, when things are calmer. <laughs> so has anybody picked a word for 2021? I have a friend that's uh, building her coaching business, and she picked the word stretch, and I really like that word. I might copy that word or some variant because I would like to really – stretch myself in 2021, you know, outside the boundaries. But I also like the word finish because I would like to finish stuff. Oh, there you go. Go live one day a month. That's nice. That's doable. That is absolutely doable. Janet, I'm actually thinking about not changing to another program. I'm thinking I'm just going to go back to using old, just good old Windows file structure. Um, the trouble with Lightroom for me, okay, I love being able to categorize everything, and it's a lot easier to bulk tag stuff. But um, when then when I want to make my edits, I don't usually make my edits in Lightroom. It becomes very bulky and time-consuming, and it's a lot easier for me just to pull things up in my graphics program so I'm, I don't know, I haven't made the commitment yet, but I'm very close. I'm thinking I might do that, and I might use Lightroom instead. Plus, I have, you know, 10,000 images, and it's just, it gets, it's really slows things down. Even though I've got a good system, it slows things down. So I'm thinking I might just use Lightroom for categorizing my uh, digital work that, you know, is out for sale, and that might make it a little bit easier to keep track of that. Janet's got three words, embrace, comfort, or simplicity. Ooh. Penny says she shares videos every day with your craft group on Messenger, so we're all on the same page when we sit down together and do some craft. That's awesome. You know, and then you can support the different people that you really enjoy. Victoria's word for the day is enough. Enough to enough is enough. Learn to know when to stop and take a step back from things. Enough as in I am enough. Yes. If nothing else, please go into 2021 remembering this. You are enough. You don't have to do more of anything. You don't have to do anything. You are enough right here. Emily, I think it's just my catalog is so large. Um, I have probably over 10,000 images. And so it's it becomes very slow to move things around. And you know, I haven't made the decision yet, but I'm, I'm kind of close. And then I have to, you know, if I'm going to do my edits, because I don't use Photoshop, I use another program. 
So then I can edit in my other program, you know, and I can say that in Lightroom, edit in paint.net. But then it saves it as another copy. So then it saves it as a TIFF file. And I just end up with, you know, even more images. It just feels kind of clunky anymore. It was fine when I only had a few thousand images. But I don't know. I, I haven't made up my mind. I'm not using the cloud. I don't do a subscription service. I bought the last version of standalone Lightroom that they had. Resilience. Ooh, I like that. Resilience. We needed that word this year, didn't we? I might have picked a word this year, but if it is, if I did, I don't remember what it was. Yeah, Victoria, it's always so much easier to dish out advice for somebody else, but never to take that same advice for ourselves. I know. I know because you guys could all pair it back to me that I am enough, even though a lot of times I don't think I am. But I do, I like the idea of stretching. I like the idea of growing and stretching outside my comfort zone. Hey, Kathy, how are you today? Tell us what you're working on here a couple days before Christmas or the day before Christmas, depending on where you are. Okay, it's gonna be a naughty kind of day. I can see that, dog on it. All right, let's figure out. How are we going to, that's an awful big one to hide. Hmm. Mindset. Ooh, let go of what's gone. Be grateful for what remains. Look forward to what's coming. I like that. I do want to grow too, though. I want to grow in several areas. I, could make that one. I have an idea. I want to grow emotionally. I want to grow personally. I want to um, grow my business. I want to grow my outlook. I will report back. I got my blood work done last week. I think I was going for that um, the, ne the day after the last week's live. And I have successfully managed to reduce my numbers so that I am not in the danger zone anymore. So as long as I keep doing what I'm doing, I should be doing well. And I was really happy to hear that. So what do you guys struggle with emotionally? I'm kind of thinking about what kind of little things I could do as far as these um, motivational moments. Thank you, Victoria. And I'd love to know what kind of things you guys are struggling with that I can maybe talk about. Which word says go with the flow because you don't think you have much choice the coming year? Oh, that's a good one. How would we say that in a, well, or even in a phrase, you could just use the mantra, go with the flow. Just flow, resist lust, flow more. One day at a time, I like that. So we are going to drive over to my in-laws tomorrow and drop off Christmas gifts, but we are not obviously gonna go inside. We're just going to let the dogs run around outside. We don't have anybody in our bubble. It's just the two of us. Adaptability. Ooh, I like that too, Terry. And hello to you, Terry. Glad you could join us today. How's your little shop going at the mall? Is it? Have you been making some sales? Wow, I was really hoping that my Sudafed and my Except in migraine, we're going to kick in today, but they have not. You're lurking. <laughs> they have not kicked in yet, so. Mm. Let's see if I can manage to not do some strange knots in this one. I think one of the things I really need to, to slow down at, well, I just need to do next year is just slow down and realize I, I can't do it all. I shouldn't want to try and do it all. And I want to slow down and appreciate the moments. J. 
Janet says she plans on looking at things on a comfort level. If it doesn't bring me comfort, I will dispose of it. Boxes of happy mail, bits and pieces. It's, it, it is. It's overwhelming. Yep, pass it on. Speaking of comfort, I'm going to bring this out again. Janet, the other night when I was in Patty's Live, I literally sat here the whole time and did this with my little comfort heart. I cannot tell you how much I love this. It is the perfect size for comfort. I just, I, this is just, I love it. Yeah, we're slowly going through the garage now that we can kind of maneuver around. I was hoping that we were gonna be able to get out there and try to sell off the uh, insulation because I don't like having the fiberglass insulation hanging around there. We've got two big, almost complete rolls and I would like to get them out of here because we don't have anything else that we're gonna insulate but we have not had a chance to get out there. Penny, yeah, we do have the stronger one. You have to ask for it at the um, counter at the pharmacy and they keep track. The sheriff's department keeps track of when the last time was you, um, you asked for it because I guess what they use it for making drugs of some kind. So um, yeah, we, we do get that because yeah, we discovered the same thing. The over the counter stuff now is just, it's useless. You need that extra stuff. And I usually start off with just the Sudafed, and then today I had to add in the Excedrin migraine. And so it just makes it kind of bearable. So that's exactly how you felt when you made the first one. Yeah, there's just something about the texture. You got the texture just exactly right. And I decided I was just gonna keep it near here whenever, like when I was in a class, I've got some Zoom classes and things, you know, I'm a fidgeter and it was the perfect thing to fidget with without disturbing anybody else. Oops. I signed up for another class with Linen Bone. Um, it's actually a mastermind group that starts in January and there's going to be only six people in it. And I'm excited about that because it's going to be all focused on building our businesses and kind of supporting one another in this small six-man mastermind group. If anybody's interested in that, let me know and I can send you the information on it. Yeah, Janet, they do. They, they absorb the anxiety. It was awesome. Yeah, when it, when it makes that transition from just... Uh, standard headache to a migraine. I need to get some more peppermint oil because that helps too if you inhale the peppermint oil. But I think I'm just about out. So what is everybody's meal for Christmas meal? I know Jude's got a huge old thing that they're doing, right? You're doing cooking and cooking and cooking. I'm looking forward to beef with tarragon and then we take this French bread and just lightly fry the French bread and put the, the beef on top of it with this great sauce. Oh, awesome. And I'm sure he'll make some kind of a dessert, but I don't know which yet. Faith is what's holding Netta together. Things are so strange right now. They just made makeup an essential item in Canada. Oh, that is too funny, Nettie. That is too funny. No, it would never be an essential item for me. Even when I was a teenager, I was not into makeup. I felt like I should be, but I wasn't. Mashed potatoes, oh, I love mashed potatoes. I haven't had meatballs in years. 14 vegans out of 49 people. You're cooking for 49 people? Holy cow. Wowzers. Turkey, beef, ham, roast potatoes, veggies, Yorkshire puddings, mash, and gravy. My goodness. Hey, Sharon. How you doing? Ho, ho, ho to you, too. Turkey patties, mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, cranberry jelly. Mashed potatoes must be a, a staple. We may end up with just having our beef with tarragon and that's it. It's sort of like a sandwich. 
I mean, it's kind of hard to get excited about cooking for just the two. When we would go to his parents for Christmas dinner, then he and his mom would always wrangle different foods in the kitchen. Only I missed about Thanksgiving dinner this year was stuffing. I missed the stuffing. Don't care for turkey. It's kind of blah. What are you working on today, Sharon? Anything or are you just kind of taking it easy? Ham sandwiches, oh, potato salad, yum, scalloped corn. Scalloped potatoes is what we used to have when I was a kid. We would have scalloped potatoes every holiday. Of course, they were just out of the box. I didn't know anything about um, how to cook when my kids were little. Everything was out of a box. Mashed potatoes were out of a box. Scalloped potatoes were out of a box. Chicken nuggets were out of the box. Lots of frozen foods. My husband now, he loves to cook, so we get a lot of, a lot of good stuff now. Shrimp with tomato, basil, angel hair pasta. Mmm. Basil. I think that's an under underused herb. Victoria says she's not cooking. If it was cooking, it would be something really simple. So you're going to your parents. Slowly filling in here, huh? Dinner for two at Terry's is turkey, squash, and potatoes. Mm. Now I'm going to be all hungry. Easy day for you, Sharon. You can. Uh, you needed some downtime. Good. Take care of yourself. You know that's something I want everybody to be doing in the, the coming year. I mean, Victoria's kind of thinking like that cutting back her recording schedule so that she doesn't stress herself. We don't need to do it all. Nettie, same thing here. We discovered very early on in our relationship that my husband loves to cook. He, he whistles, he sings, he laughs, he listens to his music. He's all happy when he cooks. And when I cook, you know, I'm usually grumbling and grousing and cursing and frustrated because nothing comes together um, I have a good palate. I have a lousy sense of cooking. Oh, wow. So Victoria says they're still in three, three, tier three lockdown. And some parts have been moved up to tier four. On Christmas Day, you can mix three households for that day only. Wow. Well, we're in, um, they changed our tiers. We're in the, the worst tier. Uh, actually, basically all of California is now. So we're not supposed to mix with anybody outside of your bubble. And, you know, our bubble is just my husband and I. So we're just going to run over and drop off the gifts at my in-laws and come back home. Yeah, Sharon, background noise gets in the way. I hear you. I was telling them earlier that we're going to try doing weather stripping around my husband's office to see if that'll help as soon as there's time for the contractor to come out and do some work for us. Quarter of rest of that or sleep assist tablet that has the doc. Ah, interesting. I have to be careful. Anything that's going to relax me, then I just like zonk. I just go right to sleep. I used to take Flexerol all the time, and that just, I would crash right away. But I'm going to take a, I'm going to go out and do a couple things in the yard, and I'm going to take a nice hot shower, and that always helps, too. I need to get some of the darker one in here, more of the darker color, wherever that is. So did anybody come up with traditions? Was it Sharon? Were you the one that was asking about traditions last week? I can't remember. Ah, yeah, okay, Penny, that makes sense. Yeah, I only take it at bedtime. Uh, so you have your parents in your bubble, Victoria. That's nice. Yeah, we didn't do that with my husband's parents. Um, luckily, they can still take care of themselves, but they are in, in a high-risk category due to their age, and my <clears throat> father-in-law's 
heart condition. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yeah, I have a weird thing in my throat that causes it to really go out very quickly. So I may grab some, I have my lozenges here too. So we did discuss traditions last week. Did you decide in, on any that you were going to do, Sharon? Hey, Martha. Happy to see you here. I saw you uploaded a video, but I didn't get the chance to go see what it was yet. My afternoon viewing schedule. What are you working on today? Did you do your marbling? Emily's making onion soup using beef, short ribs, mushroom, and cabbage. Oh, my. I don't think we've made, we haven't made soup. We buy Trader Joe's, a couple of Trader Joe's soups. That's about it. Gosh, though, all this talk about food, now I'm hungry. Uh, I did not cut off my... So you tried to do your marbling, but the carrageen, whatever, wasn't thick enough. Yeah, I've never done marbling, so I don't know anything about it. I think it's pretty, but I haven't done any of it. Okay, so you'll share more after Christmas. All right, Sharon, I'll look forward to hearing about that after Christmas, which will be next week. Can you believe it, people? I cannot believe it. I just can't believe how fast this last month is gone. All right, let's get some of these long things out of the way. The marbling is a lot of work. It's probably why they came up with those um, faux versions with shaving cream and stuff, huh? There's some things I want to spend a lot of time learning how to do, and there's other things I'm like, eh, not so much. What am I doing in the back? I'm just a lot of cleanup um, because I know that we're going to have, you know, now that the rains are going to be starting, I'm hoping that there'll be more of them, you know, more days of rain. I won't be able to get out there, so I've just got some, a lot of trimming that I want to do on some plants. And I've got stuff that I want to bring in, you know, that I, I know that I want to have drying so that I can use it in art projects. And I want to get it now before, you know, it's damp now, but it's going to be sopping wet. If it's damp now and I bring it up onto the covered deck, it should dry out enough that I can use it in another month. And then um, across the street, there's a pyracantha bush and there are tons and tons of berries on it. So I need to go ask if I can cut the berries so that I can um, dry them so that I can make dye with them. That's basically what I'm looking for is more things that I can make dyes from because I'm taking a class from Alice Fox and we're working all about making our own inks. And so I need to go cut a bunch of stuff that I can have soaking and make inks with. This one's not going to want to thread nicely. Oh, how nice, Nettie. Yeah, the last couple months have gone by really fast. You know, and I'm trying, like, I spent the last, probably the last two weeks working on DigiKits because, I, like I said, I had this personal goal that I wanted to hit 100 items in the shop by the end of the year. Made that, so that was awesome. And I started to beat myself up and say, oh, but I'm not doing this and I'm not doing this. And it's like, no, next year I want to just enjoy whatever it is I'm doing at the time I'm doing it. You know, if I want to work on digi kits for a month, then that's what I'm going to do. And I will always show up here on Wednesdays, but I'm not going to beat myself up if I'm not doing anything else. And I don't want you guys beating yourselves up either. Yeah. Martha's sneaky like that. She's, you know, covert Martha. Sometimes I want to try new things and, and learn and see how, you know, I've got a couple of um, couple of things I thought were going to go into challenges 
for next year. And I tried them out and I was like, nah, they didn't work well enough for me to want to keep doing them. Okay, this thread is not cooperating. And since that's brand new, I'm just gonna cut that off and we're gonna start again. Hey Katie, how are you doing today? Happy to see you here with us. What are you working on? Tell us what you're working on. Yeah, no more beating ourselves up. I'm, I'm done with that. <laughs> there's no payoff, you know? Why do something when there's not a payoff? And I mean, the payoff might just be the joy of completing a project. Oh, has worked at a drive through gift pickup for the kids. How nice. Okay, Martha, do you want to do that together? We can do a jelly plate date. Jelly plate date. Yeah, that's that came out, right? It's so much fun to do the jelly plate. I mean, that I bet you will find very addicting. At least I find it very addicting. Okay, we can do that. We can uh, do it like we were talking about the other day, do our little stream yard thing and... Uh, Jelly plate together. Grandsons, nice. I hope I get to talk to my grandson on Christmas or probably Christmas Eve. If I send him his gift card on Christmas Eve, I can hear from him then. Yeah, jelly plate, so much fun. Ooh, we could have a jelly plate live play date with a bunch of people. That would be fun. Well, from what I understand, Sharon, a lot of those do-it-yourself plates work just fine. This thread must be ancient. It does not want to work. Do you have one, Penny? They are so much fun. I'm just going to do my introduction probably to my challenge that I'm going to do for the next year with the jelly plate. I can have, what is it in StreamYard? I think I can have 10 people at a time. Used to think a jelly plate was a dessert. <laughs> a crafting video call with you. So what do you mean by a crafting video call, Nettie? What do you need? Let's see, you have some at the studio, Penny. Okay, so you'll have access. Martha, we can chat after this. I'm going to, let me go out and do some stuff in the yard first, and then I'll be back in, and we can uh, we can chat. Oh, I think I saw that's something that you did, is you posted your introduction to your project for the next year, huh? Terry, you're doing a steampunk journal? Ooh. Um... Nandina berries. I don't know. I use Nandina uh, leaves. They eco print beautifully. I love them. My um, my in laws have. I won't plant them because it's an invasive plant here, and uh, it would be great to use the berries for something else because they're actually not good for the birds. Nandina berries are toxic for birds, so. Oh, video call, crafting for company. Okay. Yeah, I like the small ones. They are a lot of fun. I've got a couple um, round ones that I really enjoy. And I love doing fabric with them because then, of course, you can stitch them onto things. And when I was doing fabric before on the jelly plate, I was not... Uh, slow stitching and so now I'm excited to think about some uh, prints that I can do on the jelly plate that I can you know on fabric that I can then use with my stitching. Brenda's got time to chat for a few minutes while you eat early almost done with your Christmas gifts. Woo! -hoo! Martha I've got the 12 by 14 or no might even be bigger than that. I've got the largest one they made and then I've got, well, I've got like seven, I think I've got seven jelly plates because, you know, overachiever here is crazy. 
But the 12 by 14 is great because you can put, like if you're doing tags, you can put a whole bunch of them all over the place. Um, you can do larger pieces of fabric. You can do a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to pull off later, you know, let dry on there and pull off later. Yeah, exactly, backgrounds for the kids. I love the small round ones. I've, you know, like I said, I've got a bunch. Sting, steampunk for art inspiration journal. Oh, that sounds great, Terry. I hope you're gonna post some pictures as you do it. So let's see if we did a StreamYard group um, group video game day, whatever. Hmm. Overachieving is what we do best. You're right, Katie. You are so right. Brenda, you don't like the jelly plating? How come? I think it's one of those you either love it or you hate it. Well, not hate, but that's kind of a strong word. We don't usually hate, but not our favorite thing to do. Yeah, great backgrounds for fussy cut leaves. And then, of course, you can use your leaves on the plate. Um, okay, so after Christmas, I'll do the jelly plate stuff because I want to show you guys how to do, you know, where you can get good registration on the plate to get really good leaf prints. I have two more sets of fussy cut leaves to put up in different colors, Penny. I'll be fussy cutting forever. <laughs> the prep, yeah. The prep for the, well, the, the thing about the jelly plating is it does take the room and you've got to have a, you know, if your stuff, like it's time to do it is now when it's not super hot because when the stuff dries fast, you really need to put like a retarder or something in with the paint. You have to have a place set up for your prints as you pull them. Katie's trying to streamline what you're keeping in the studio. So you're going to do some de-stashing. Craft room overhaul, Terry. Nice. Brenda says she just doesn't like the jelly plate. Well, you know, that's good. You try something, you decide you don't work, don't like it, then you don't have to spend any more time doing it. Yeah, I've not been inspired to do a December daily either, either, but I think it's because, you know, when I was writing, I journaled all the time, and I have a hard time. I don't like writing with a lot of busy stuff around. You know, so I write on, this is my kind of writing, like this, <laughs> on my steno pads. Oh, because... <laughs> Oh, you probably don't suck at it, Brenda, but um, there is a learning curve. There is a learning curve, so we'll do some of those. So Rachel's been working on December prompts. Yeah, that helps, too, if you have prompts. Retired art teachers seem to have too much of the overachieving. Yep. <laughs> You got a cricket. Oh, nice. I have thought about it, but I have not pulled the trigger yet. If I get to the point where I'm wishing for it, you know, like once a week, then maybe I'll put it on my radar. I sort of set goals for what I want to you know, earn enough money to do blah, blah, blah in the next, you know, quarter. So first I want to make enough money to pay off the class that I'm going to start in January. Thank you, dude. I think there's two sets. There's a small set of brown ones and then the light green. I've got dark green that's going to go up later. And then I've got a rusty one and then a dark brown. 
Janet's using her December daily journal to track gifts made, bought, cards made, given, received, put all the cards in the journal, scads of wrapping paper I use. Oh, that's really a great idea. Then you have a good memory of what, what happened this Christmas. Squirrels, you're right, Nettie, squirrels. Squirrels everywhere distracting us. Thanks for posting the shop. For those of you that came in late, 20% off right now if you use the coupon Patty Saves. And that will go to the 27th. Thank you, Jude. I know I've used, I've re-threaded this needle like three times, but boy, this doesn't look like it's filling in. <laughs> yeah, I need to do a video of the new setup, Martha. Thanks for that reminder because um, this new setup here with the larger monitor has really been a big help. I have an ancient one and I do need to do that. So I appreciate that reminder. That won't take that long and I can do that during some quiet time. We can tell our storm's coming in. The, the wind is going like crazy. You probably can't hear the chimes through the windows, but it is definitely. You like the angle? Oh, good. Thank you. Still tweaking it a little bit. <laughs> and I don't know why I what it is on the iPad that's got an echo. It's very strange. I have the iPad turned, you know, volume turned completely down and the mic muted. But as long as you guys don't hear it and it's only on my side, I guess that doesn't matter. I mostly learned to ignore it. I was all worried about how to set up the, the iPad at the right height and realized if I just turned it vertically, that helped a lot. You don't hear an echo, good. It's just me. <laughs> and as long as it doesn't show up on the replay. The view feels natural, oh good, thank you. Yeah, this is, this is it. I'm usually sitting right here, and this is where I work, or at the other desk, which if I do the jelly plating, I can set that up at the other one. Oh, you can hear a slight echo? Okay. See, I don't know. <clears throat> Best jelly plate to get for a beginner, it or first timer, it depends on what you think you might want to do with it. Um, you might want to start with a small one, because it's not so intimidating and you haven't made a big investment, financial investment in it and see if you like it. We don't get any snow here. No snow here. Now there's a little bit of a delay on my side, Martha, that's picking up the echo. That's what it is. So I don't, it's something on the iPad. Um, but I don't know. Afterwards, I'm going to have to try it with somebody, just do a sample. Maybe you and I can try it and see where I can open different windows, but I don't want to waste everybody's time that's in here in the chat. So yeah, we, we might see snow fall sometimes if it gets really cold, but it's never sticks on the ground here. Yeah, but I, yeah, I don't know, Martha. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. It's just that I can hear it on my side, so that's what makes me nervous. But oh well, I'll get comments from somebody that's just some flyby comment that says, "Quit talking about that." I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I wouldn't do good in a place where there's snow. I want it to be perpetual spring. <laughs> That's, you know, spring or fall. I like it. I stay barefoot all the time. Crop pants, tank tops. I don't like to have to get any more, you know, any more clothes or shoes on than that. I remember when I was in high school, we had snow that actually came down on the ground and I was in Spanish class, and they let us all out of class just so we could go run around and check it out. But never enough where you could, like, build us to make a snowball. 
Hi, Sherry. Welcome. Yeah, the snow is pretty in a movie. <laughs> I would imagine, you know, it just it creates a lot of hassles and getting around. You have to have the special, you know, how to drive and that kind of stuff. And I like I do like extreme weather though when it comes to winter. I like seeing the the uh, wind and the rain, thunder and lightning. Although we don't really see that much of it here. Yeah, lots of snow where you are, Terry. I keep telling myself the texture of this is worth all of this time, right? <laughs> all right, Jude. There's someone for you. Jude or Mona, if you're still here, can you take care of some housekeeping? Janet says, I don't mind going to the snow. You don't like it when it comes to you. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yep. Let me see if I can. All right. I think I took care of it. Thank you, Janet. I appreciate that. You wonder what people are doing, you know, why they need to do stuff like that. It's crazy. And Jude's back. Oh, that's okay. No worries. I, I at least figured out that with my touch screen, I can get back over to the laptop easily. Once I get the other stuff set up. Oh, it's just a troll that was starting something. So we got rid of him. He's, he be gone. He be gone. Laundry. I got all caught up in laundry. I'm hoping I don't have to do any laundry now until a couple days before New Year's Eve. And then we can go into the new year with a clean house and... All the laundry done. Oh, again with the knots. What is happening here? Let's see. How can we make this work? Uh, I'm glad I'm getting the knots at least when I'm doing these French knots because then I can just make them like they're little loose French knots. Probably need to get rid of some of this really old floss. I just got some silk, um, undyed mulberry silk thread that I'm going to dye, and I'm very excited to dye that and sew with it. It's supposed to be really good for stitching. The streets get plowed, and you have a snowblower. <laughs> Yeah, you would need to have something like that where you are. All right, let's see what we can do with this one that I have totally messed up. Oh, I didn't mess up. The thread messed it up. It was not an operator error, right? It was the thread that did it. Let's see if we can loop it in there. What are you eating, Brenda? I'm so hungry now. All this talk about food and opal apple. Mm. Is that an Oregon apple? Okay, I need to bring that down a little bit. Yeah, I would imagine a snowblower would be very handy for anybody that lives in those kind of areas. Get it down enough. One more. Uh, I do. Okay, Sudafed and excited migraine is kind of kicked in, but wow.
peeling is easy to eat, sweet and crisp, no mealy feel. Yeah, that's what always throws me about apples is that mealy feel. I don't like that. Texture is a big thing to me when I eat. <laughs> I am definitely going to do the green project. Um, it's still, it's right here. I was going to start it today, but I really, you know, I wasn't feeling 100% when I went live. So I thought, well, I don't have to think too much. So I will start the green one probably um, next week. Pork chop rice and veggie. Mm. <laughs> Medley. <laughs> I was actually thinking last night I wanted to grab a bunch of um, my little scraps like I use for my clusters and just do some small slow stitch pieces. But again, that was more energy than I had the ability to focus on today. So one of the things I learned in the class I'm taking with Alice Fox is that you can take apple twigs and make an ink from them. I did not know that. So one of our neighbors has an apple tree, so I'm going to watch for when they trim it. And actually, there's a lot of things that you don't think about that you could make an ink from. You know, now some of them are not going to be very light, fast, or permanent, but... Um, you know, if you're using them in a book that's closed and not out to the sun, they're going to last a while. So that's kind of what I want to do today is go out and cut a bunch of different things that I can soak for a few days and then boil. Figure if I cut them today, I can soak them and then boil them the day after Christmas. Oh, Penny, they turn out great. Alice has got some... Um, Wonderful. If you go to alicefox.uk, uh, she's got uh, something that she's, I think it's called Plot 106, whatever the thing is, it's the plot. Uh, she shows some of the color samples that she gets from a lot of the inks that she makes from stuff that she's growing on her allotment. Yeah, I have not done anything on the slow stitch sign up because... I just kind of got intimidated by the idea of another commitment. So I've, I've sort of pulled back on that right now. I still want to do it. But I was feeling a little overwhelmed by everything. So I have to keep pulling myself. Like I was going to start, I may have said this last week, I, I was going to start a challenge and I thought it was going to be a daily challenge. It was like, okay, I was going to challenge myself to do this every day in 2021 and I thought you know what there's no way I won't stick with it and then I'm just going to kick myself and feel bad so I decided it's going to be a challenge that gets done as it gets done and I'm not going to put that pressure on myself water I need water Martha kept thinking it was Sunday yeah Monday I thought was still Sunday and I almost missed um, a class that I was in because I just totally lost track of time. The variegated green, yeah, I'm I'm really anxious to get started on this one. I really am because I just you know of course love the green. Okay, come on. So I just need to. To roll with the days of the week, and especially because those anybody that's got a, a spouse or a partner that they're used to leaving the house for work, you know, it makes it hard because I used to count the days of the week on, you know, what days he was home, and we take turns on the weekends. I uh, always get up with the dog and with Zoe, and he gets to sleep in, but now all the days run together. Oh, good. It sent you a reminder. Yeah, I've started now. I finally remembered to put my classes that I'm taking because they're all Zoom classes, put them on my calendar and ask it to send me a reminder. And I've done that with a couple YouTube things that I want to make sure I don't miss that I can catch live because I don't trust any other reminders coming from elsewhere. 
Yeah, Mona, the days are just kind of blurring together. Wow, it is making progress, right? It is making progress. I will give myself that. But everything, you know, I am such a horrible um, judge of how long anything's going to take to do. You know, so I should just like triple whatever amount of time I think something's going to take. I should just triple it, which makes it really hard to price my work because I just don't think about the time. Yeah, when they're home all day, it's just um, it just throws off the calendar. That's all. I mean, I love having my husband home. Love, love, love. I do not want him to have to go back into commuting. You know, where where we live, it, the mountain that he commutes over is just known for the accidents and fatalities that happen on it. So I get very nervous when he has to commute over there. Hey, Lala. I'm so happy to see you here. I know you are a busy, busy gal. How are you doing today? We are just chit-chatting today while I'm stitching French knots. Ooh, a textile class, four days a week, in person or via Zoom or, or what? Alice has another class coming up. I think she's going to open up in January, a rust class. And I'm going to want to do that too. Lazy is good. Lazy means you're recharging those batteries. And that's important. We have got to recharge our batteries. A person class of 12. Oh, that's a nice size. That's a nice size. Yeah. I want to do so many classes, but then that's another thing. You know, if you're, if you're trying to push yourself to make a gazillion videos, you don't have the time to do the classes. And I really want to, um, I really want to do more classes and stretch myself. He should pop in and say hi to us. We've kind of gotten to know him a little too. I'll have him do that. Maybe next week, have him do that. At least I can hear him in a meeting right now. You'll hear him if he gets really excited in his meetings. Uh, well, Jude's, Jude's met him online, and Martha has met him online. <laughs> he is a sweetie, and I am spoiled rotten, and I love it. I am so lucky. I was, you know, feeling so crummy this morning with my head, and I don't even remember what it was we were talking about. Um, oh, maybe it was a taste of coffee, and he just had me laughing, and I was just thinking how lucky I am to share my life with somebody who every single day makes me laugh in one way or another. Where am I finding the classes? Um, you know, I think they just tend to pop up online. It seems to be kind of sort of like the way the Amazon stuff does. Um, Fiber Arts. Two is one place to check, Emily. It's F I B R E Arts Two, and they're in Australia, and their classes are not cheap, but they're they're really great. Alice Fox, if you go to her website, her classes are there. Um, it sort of depends on what you want to take, you know, what kind of a class you might be interested in. Thank you, Martha. Yes, Jude, he makes me smile. He does. He makes me smile. And if what, if he says something that doesn't make me smile, then he tickles me, and that makes me giggle. <sighs> Again, with the knots. What is going on? I am such a... It's because I put my thread, my needle right through the thread. Oh, I hate it when I do that. When you split the thread... Let's see if I can save this somehow. Oh, wow. Maybe I should go to doing seed stitches. Let's see, which side has the... Yeah, and there's a lot of free classes too. If you guys have classes that you know of that are that you like or that places to go check them out, please share them. My case, there's usually too many. It's, you know, I have to stop. Oh, and then jeanoliver.com. 
Emily, that's a really good one. Um, let's see if I can get over here to my. I've got um, take a lot of classes over there. I can almost get this thread split out. They've got a lot at Gene Oliver. They've got a lot of different disciplines. Oh, I might have saved it. I might have saved it. Yeah, Nettie, if you go to that class, the, the link that I just put up, she's got, they do a lot of, um, not a lot, but they do some free classes. Sometimes it's just like one sample of the, the class. Oh, and here's another one. Let's see. She's got a couple free classes and a couple of other classes as well. You type in slow stitch and so much stuff pops up. Yeah, I know. Same thing here. But I mean, you know, other than YouTube, there are places that do free classes. Roxanne Evans Stout, her couple of early classes, um, she has made free now on her website. And she also teaches at jeanoliver.com. And JeanOliver.com has journal classes, she has stitching classes, she has um, oil painting classes, drawing classes. Some of them are free, some of them cost. And I normally tend to do things on, you know, on YouTube, but when you want to go kind of in depth or like the art, the two artists that I really admire are Roxanne Evans Stout and Alice Fox. And so I was really tickled to be able to take a class with each of them. It's Fiber Arts 2. And I don't remember if it's the number two or not, but um, they've got a Facebook page and, and a website. I'm taking a class right now with Tara Axford over there. And it was not a cheap class, but it's got a lot of information. Victoria says, I love watching Slow Stitch Studios, but they put you to sleep. <laughs> yeah, Nettie, what kind of classes would you be interested in? Because then we can kind of direct you. Um, Jeannie Oliver does have a few bookmaking classes that are free. And Roxanne Evans Stout, she's got her first two, um, I think our first two courses are free on the website. It's kind of clunky to find, you know, because it was when a lot of that stuff was new, but uh, but you can get all her information for free. Loretta at Sparrowhawker, Slow Stitch Twinchy Challenge. Um, Jean, I put the, the link in, J-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, Oliver. Just something creative. Oh, so then definitely go, go check out um, Jean Oliver because she's got a fair amount of free classes and something there just might spark you. And you don't get a hard sell for, you know, buy this, buy that. Wow. Wind is going crazy. Should be easy to find a bunch more lichen when I go out because there'll be so much stuff that's out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that they don't have the patience for the slow stitching. I find though, I, I'm such an anxious person that it really is, oh yeah, petal plume, I forgot about that, petal plum. That's another good one, thanks Jude. You could hear the wind chimes, yeah, that was a big gust that came through. got four different sizes of chimes out there and I love how it just depends on what the wind is doing. Oh, good to know, Jude. That is good to know. She did one class. And sometimes Teachable, I think you can search Teachable for the free classes.
Thanks, Lala. My old house, we had a huge kitchen and I had my cobalt blue glass everywhere. And here, this house is so much smaller. I really had to reduce my stash of blue glass. So I was glad that we don't need to have any window coverings here and I was able to put them up in the windowsill. The only place we have any curtains is in the bedroom. Oh, Janet, wow, really? Well, so I'm glad that we connected and brought that to you because you are amazing at it. Martha, you have all kinds of weather extremes, don't you? Victoria, host your own classes, as in me or as in anybody. Ah, I just pulled it right through the hole. I am planning on a couple of classes that I would like to do for next year. Tell me, if I was going to do a class, what might you guys like to have a class in? Blue glass stash along glass bricks in the bathroom. Ooh, my dishes are blue and white. Well, I have cobalt blue everyday plates and then we've got blue and white. Yes, I do want to do some classes. You guys tell me, okay? If I was going to do a class, what kind of a class would you like from me? Because you know what holds me back, okay, and you guys are really good at talking me through this. Um, what holds me back is what am I doing that's any different? And I know it's just my take on it. Eco dyeing. I could do it, do one on my, my take on eco dyeing. Okay. <laughs> eco dyeing. All right. There's one. Whew, we are getting there. More water. Yeah. And I have to remember that um, it is, it, you know, we've, we've all seen the same videos out there on YouTube and that it's just got to be our take on stuff that people want to see. Let's see which one's the lightest. I want to keep the lightest one for up here. All the Ecodyne tips. Okay. Oh, jelly printing on fabric. Ooh. Okay. I'm making notes here, guys. How to place items on fabric as well as paint. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do anything on painting. I can't paint. I can ego print, but I can't paint. I mean, I, you know, I do mixed media, but it's, it's strictly, um, it's strictly instinct for me. Nothing's the same every time. Pick and place items on fabric as well as paper. Janet, what do you mean? More like, um, like when I was doing laid out on the, the green stuff, how I did that? Or do you mean something else? I'm not quite sure what you mean. All right. Yeah, okay, it is it is filling in. It is definitely filling in here. Ooh, color combinations with fabric. I love that. Janet says, you understand my thoughts. I'm not wanting to feel like I'm teaching the same thing, but there are a lot of those people that are hard to watch or listen to. Personality is important. Thank you. You're right. And I agree. There are some people that I think have a lot of knowledge, but for whatever reason, you know, personal reasons on me, I have a hard time listening to them. And um, I'm glad to hear that you guys think that you wouldn't mind listening to me teach a class. <laughs> that makes me feel good. Thank you. That That's my Christmas present from you guys today. The other thing that, you know, I need to remember is, hey, Carrie, is that we're all at different stages, you know, and a lot of people are just getting started in, in a certain area and things are new. You have tons of stuff, but you struggle with what to choose for the fabric or the paper to make it flow. Okay. So it's, it's kind of composition then, basic composition. Gotcha. I'm easy to listen to. 
Thank you. Thank you, Martha. Well, you guys are making this channel, the, at least the Wednesday Lives, and actually it's going to, I think, inform the rest of my videos, but, but you guys are making it uh, what it's going to be. Oh, Carrie, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry to hear that, Carrie. Big hugs for Carrie, everybody. You are all my friends, Lala. You are. And because of the way you guys interact here and the support that you give one another, the love that you share, I mean, that's what makes me want to come back and say, okay, you know, I can, I can look towards doing some classes like that. Yeah, Victoria, hugs for everybody who needs them right now. And just because, because we all need them right now. It's hard, hard times. Some of the plants that are good to work with. Yeah, I can talk about uh, a little bit about some of the plants. The, the biggest thing that I wish people would remember about eco-dyeing is that so many of the combinations of the plants can be toxic and do not boil them on your stove. Do them outside, do them with lots of ventilation. Makes for a hard holiday time, Carrie, I know. I'm glad you came in here so you could soak up some of the good love everybody sent in your way. I'll just poke myself with my needle. Yeah, I sort of feel like we're all just kind of hanging out in this big old room together. Picture the fireplace going. Photography, ooh. Well, you know, that, that's been a long passion of mine. I, um, I don't do much of it anymore, mostly because I can't carry my big camera. It's just too heavy. But photography can be incorporated. Okay, I will, um, using photo, using real, you know, modern photo kind of stuff. Yeah, Janet, you just gotta be really careful You know, once you, you start boiling these things, you can get interactions, and it's just better to be safe. And if you don't know what the plant is, you probably shouldn't boil it or steam it because, you, you know, the steaming is going to do the same sort of thing. Love to sit and cry. You know, I've kind of been thinking about, um, and I don't know, this may be sound kind of... Uh, God, I can't even think of the word uppity of me. Yeah, use an old pot that you don't use for cooking. Don't ever go back and use it for cooking. But I've been thinking about doing maybe like a Zoom, like a drop-in session, you know, Zoom with me and sit together and we could craft and chat at the same time. It would be like, I don't know, a nominal fee to do that. Um, Hey, Margaret, I was wondering where you were. So I don't know if you guys would be interested in something like that for, for Zoom, a, um, a paid, paid event kind of thing where we could all craft together. Yeah, what plants are safe for eco-dyeing? You know, there's so, you have to know the plants in your area. And, and look at the toxic, toxicity of them. Oh, an angel party. I love that. And, we, and I could do a one-on-one -on -one tutor session. That's a good idea, too. I could do the Zoom thing as like maybe a, you know, uh, once a month thing or once a week thing. I don't know. Drop in kind of thing. I upgraded so I've got the, the pro version of Zoom now so I can have more people and go for longer. 
You guys, great suggestions here. This is awesome. I've got a nice list. Margaret, what are you working on today? <laughs> I know his laugh is just so infectious. It's wonderful. Should make just I should tape his video, tape his laugh, and then just make a little, you know, audio recording of that because he's got such a great laugh. Sherry, yeah, well, the best thing you can do if you know the plant, then you need to um, look it up and find out if it's toxic. That that's the biggest thing. Hi, Marjorie. I missed saying hello to you. His laugh could be my ringtone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, Penny. One of your eucalypts is so toxic due to the forestry making it poisonous to browsing animals. Yikes. So Margaret's not doing any crafting right now, but today she makes up food for Christmas Day. Oh, and you pick up your new car. Yay. That's going to be so exciting for you. And Carrie is going to give the kids new pages every month. Yes. Marjorie, I think you're a little behind. You sounds like you're catching up on the beginning and uh, all the stuff you're saying I did um, at the beginning of saying at the beginning of the session and I'm coming in on the last half hour here. So if I did a Zoom thing, what what time of day? is good emily is that an evening thing is that a day thing might have to do a couple of them because of the time changes so great to have a new car dependable transportation new to you yeah you can go wherever you want now that's awesome and is your area okay for you to be going around in? I, I don't remember. Yeah, that's what I do with my eco dyeing is I was doing it on the grill, although I did just buy a um, hot plate so that I can hopefully do it in the garage with the big garage door open. Seven journals for the kids and your mother-in-law. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you, Jude. You are awesome. I'm definitely going to need to eat after this. So all this food we were talking about today, I'm hungry now. So hungry. Mm. Well, I won't say that I will definitely get this done by next week, but I will say that next week for working on something different, I will be working on the green one. What I like about slow stitching in the lives is that I feel like I can interact with you guys a little bit more and I don't feel the pressure. Yes, hydrate. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> yeah, Martha, almost dinner time there. Your home is safe at the moment, Margaret, but the spike in Sydney is worrying. Yeah. Just jumping everywhere. Has anybody in the areas where they can get a vaccine yet? I know we're going to be way down the list. <clears throat> yeah, my throat's saying. And I, I drank a lot. I made sure I drank a whole bunch before I came on, but I just have a weird thing with my throat. It doesn't last long. Ah, uh, Jude, you're always awesome. You are always awesome. You have a Merry Christmas too, Sharon. Hopefully we'll see you next week and we can hear all about everybody's holidays and how they went. Yeah, Victoria, it's very scary to hear what's happening over there. And I'm, I'm afraid that the same thing is happening here. I'm wondering if that's why California has spiked so much lately. 
Yeah, Penny, what is that with Antarctica, right? You kind of think that they're sort of divorced from all this sort of thing, but I guess not. Appreciate all the support, Sharon. Thank you. Regret this last little one. Let's see if we can make it work. So February, still that long to wait. Wow. Yeah, stress less stressful year next year for all of us, please. That's what I would like. Less stressful for all of us. Hi, Anise. Haven't seen you for a few weeks. How are you doing? Hope everything's okay where you are in Portugal, right? Is that am I remembering right? Lala, I was thinking about Patreon, but I think it's kind of um, I think the fees are kind of high there. So I'm <clears throat> was thinking about maybe just doing buy me a coffee, um, kind of looking at some private <clears throat> membership things. If I did a Zoom thing, it would be like one off, so people wouldn't have to do a regular. <clears throat> More water here. Regular commitment thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm exploring. Oh, see, Zoe has something to say. I'm just kind of checking things out, kind of getting a feel for what you guys are interested in. You know, I know finances are rough, so I, I, if I do anything, I want it to be a, a nominal cost. Oh, you're in the Netherlands. Okay, so not in lockdown. Good. Or you are in lockdown, but in the Netherlands, not Portugal. They want to say hi to you. You want to come say hi to them? <laughs> Buy me a coffee is better. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Penny. Bye, Carrie. You take care. Yeah, and there is super chat. That's right. There's always super chat that you can do. You know, it, it feels um, it's hard. It's hard for most of us creatives to uh, ask for money. Yeah, Eric says hi and he waves, but he's not going to come say hello today. Maybe another day. But there is, there's the super chat, and that's always nice. Yeah, Kofi and buy me a coffee. The, the thing is, Kofi, if you want to do the, the whole everything, it's a $6 a month fee. And buy me a coffee, There's they're, they charge a flat 5% no matter what. So I've been going back and forth on each of those. I, I won't do actual Patreon. Um, both of the Kofi and Buy Me a Coffee let you do um, membership things or just tips. I'm so glad you're able to join us for a while, Emily. I know your work schedule doesn't allow you to do it most of the time. Oh, that's good to know, Lala. Yeah, and it just depends on what people, you know, what kind of things you can put together. But, um, yeah, buy me a coffee are different from Kofi. Patreon, I, I know I won't do a Patreon, but I will do something like that. Yeah, exactly, Martha, all the ones that you'd like to support. But if, you know, you can do a super chat at any time, um, and then the buy me a coffee or the Kofi would be a much more reasonable you know, I, I would do something at a very low tier. Yeah. One-off donations or monthly subs. And I was thinking then maybe I would do something where I would give you guys some free images that I have done. Kofi is just another version. Buy me a coffee is one. And Kofi, K-O hyphen F-I, is another of the things that are similar to Patreon. They're alternatives to Patreon. Yeah, and like Martha says, you can't afford to do a Patreon to all the places you you want to support, but you can always do the one-off donation tips, you know, tip jar things. It's hard. I mean, and there are people that um, it, it's just, asking for money is hard. Anytime there's an exchange of money, it's difficult. I think, and yet when you're thinking about it. Um, 
Yeah, you're on Kofi and looking into using it in place of Patreon. Yeah. And I'm just trying to decide, you know, Kofi, Kofi and Buy Me a Coffee are both free at the low levels, but Buy Me a Coffee does take 5% no matter what. Uh, and I think I'd figured out you would need to be making like 100 bucks a month to offset or to match that on Kofi to pay the $6 a month fee for their, their gold plan. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, when you become successful and you can afford it. Well, and that's another thing you can do is you buy the product. You see, you know, a, a maker that you like and they post something for sale and you can buy that thing. Um, yeah, and, you know, there's always uh, – I was – need to start putting out like my PayPal me, which doesn't need anything except for the fact that you can just send a PayPal payment to people. But it just feels really kind of obnoxious on my part to say here, you know, if you want to send me a tip, here's my PayPal account. And I guess it's just get over myself, right? <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, you can have a shop on, on both... Um, Kofi and buy me a coffee. Yeah, PayPal to support who you like. Well, my PayPal is just my name, Susan Taylor Brown at gmail.com. Yep, do it. Just do it. Right, Victoria. Just get it in there. It feels like begging, I know. But it's there in case people do want to be able to do something like that. You know, and it's that whole step, stepping up your game in the way you think about it. Think yourself, think about yourself as a professional. And that includes getting comfortable with letting people know that there are different ways that they can support you. you they can support by sharing, you know, um, information about your channel and your Etsy shop. They can support by buying at your Etsy shop. They can support by tipping you. They can support by taking these classes that I'll, I'll, Start brainstorming some ideas of where I might want to start with that for next year. I'm just really telling myself to, to go slowly and not jump on too many things at once because I tend to do that. That's just my nature. And then I get burnt out, and I don't want to hit burnt out with any of this. I'm, I'm in a happy place about it all now. I felt like I was in a burnout at the beginning of last year. Oh, thank you, Lala. You shouldn't feel guilty, Terry. You know, we all evolve in our creativity, and we, you know, our financial situations are differently. And, yeah, oh, pricing work is really tough. If you guys knew the amount of time I agonize over pricing digis. I got to get some of you guys doing some showing some pictures and some videos of things that you're doing with my digis. I know some of you have them, but I need to see some some more pictures of things, more videos. Well, Terry, you had a big move, and boy, a lot of, I mean, I think you need a couple months of rest. Yeah, exactly, Victoria, is just a, a schedule of all the things we want to get done, and also realizing that, you know, maybe we're not going to get it all done. Maybe we have too many things on the schedule. You know, I keep cutting back, and when I finally told myself, just do the digis, because that's what you're in the mood to do, and... Don't worry about the fact that you're not doing anything else. The best thing I can tell you about how to learn how to do digis is to first pick a program that you want to work with with your graphic stuff and then learn that program. That is the first most important thing that you can do. There's so many different programs. I haven't had any serious structure since I left the corporate world many, many years ago. So, you know, you just, um, some people can do, I have a friend who really is very good at scheduling her days, you know, from 
up in meditation to walks to working on her coursework. Your printer is in a box in New York waiting. Oh, Lala, that's fabulous. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. I know you have all kinds of digi things that you enjoy. Martha, I'm slow too. I'm not fast at all. And I have a huge paper box that is literally full to the brim of things to scan. And I just have not had the time to scan it yet. Oh, Jude. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, retiring. When you get out of that daily structure with um, the day job, of course, and as a, as a former teacher, I mean, you definitely had structure. You had to have structure with the classroom. It's hard. I would love to make a slideshow of videos uh, slideshow video and share what you guys are are posting what you guys are making with my kids please please send me pictures susan taylor brown at gmail.com Nettie's plan this year has been to have no plan other than take care of your family and be kind that is an awesome plan okay martha we can chat after you eat dinner okay does anyone do a DIY on starting a YouTube channel? Uh, that's a good question. That is a good question. Use it or lose it Tuesday in 2021. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to try and not buy so much in 2021. I'm, I was going to say buy nothing, but um, I realize that that's probably not going to happen. So I'm not going to put the pressure on myself. I'm just going to say be smart. Be smart. I am probably going to stop here, guys. My, my throat is telling me that it's time to stop chatting for a while. Uh, Martha, I will talk to you before Christmas, so I know that. But everybody else, I want to say you guys have given me the best gift this year by being so supportive and so loving to one another here in this group, this community that we're forming. I am so grateful for that. I'm so grateful that you all show up every week and give me my thumbs up. I appreciate that and just share so much uh, of a supportive environment. I want everybody to have a fabulous Christmas. Um, don't focus on the stuff that we don't have this Christmas. Let's focus on being healthy and being together and being able to support one another, all right? I will see you guys next Wednesday, uh, noon, California time, PST. Y'all go have a merry, merry Christmas, all right? And I will see you next week. Bye for now.